Hello and welcome to Horseshoe Scorekeeper how-to videos. In this video we're going to look at Horseshoe Scorekeeper and show you how to enter scores to the score sheet. Let's go look at Horseshoe Scorekeeper and how we enter scores to the score sheet. We have our first screen up and as you will notice there is no game loaded to the score sheet. Horseshoe Scorekeeper is not a standalone program so we can't just type a name here in the name tabs above and start keeping score. Horseshoe Scorekeeper is associated with Horseshoe Master and we have to upload a game to the score sheet from a tournament that we have set up in Horseshoe Master. Now we have the game loaded and here are your score sheet options. The tabs at the top of the page I will explain in the World Tournament portion of the video or in the next video. Under each name there is a column with 10 options of how the pitcher will call the score. You will enter the score to the column under the name of the pitcher that called the score. Jim calls the first score. One runner four. Click on one runner four and as you will notice it entered Jim's score in the first inning here. The program also entered John's score in the same frame. You do not have to enter the score for the other player once you click the score under the player's name that called the score. The program automatically does that. As you can see here, it entered Jim's one ringer four and then entered John as no score. Now John calls the score. Two dead three, he calls. So click under John's name at two dead three and it entered the score for John and for Jim again. Notice here we have green frames and yellow frames. The green frames and the yellow frames should always be on the same end. That way you will know if you have missed or added additional frames. All games should start on the same end. The yellow frames will always be scored on the end where the game started. Let's enter a few more scores here. We're going to enter some scores for both players here. Now let me show you how to correct a mistake in case you make a mistake. Let's say the last frame here we entered the score incorrect and we need to correct it. We can go down to undo last frame and just click on undo last frame and it undoes it and you can correct the score as to how it was. If you make a mistake in entering the score or say you enter a score twice or something, well don't panic because it's no big deal. We can correct that. There's ways to correct any kind of mistake in the score sheet. And if you can't correct it and don't feel comfortable trying to correct it, call a judge and if they can't correct it, then they'll call someone from the computer room to help you correct it. Now let's show you another mistake correction. Let's say we made a mistake up here about two or three ending or frames up. How do we correct that? We could undo last frame all the way until we get to that frame, but that means we would have to have the score written down to re-enter all those scores that we undone. The way we correct that is go down here to the edit block and click on it, put a check mark in the edit block, and go to the frame where the mistake was. Let's say the frame was here, or mistake was here in the second frame. We gave two dead three John and it was supposed to be two dead three for Jim. So what we do, we've got the edit block checks, we click on that frame with our mouse and it highlights that frame. That gives us a option to go to the person's name that should have got the score and correct it. It was supposed to be two dead three for Jim and we gave the two dead three to John. So we go click on the two dead three for Jim and it has corrected the score. Let's say we have entered the score twice. To we want to correct it. It's here in this frame here. We go back down and we click edit. Put a check mark in there. Again, we go click on the frame we entered twice click on it with your mouse and it highlights it. 
But as you, you can see above, we have no options to delete that. So how we delete that frame completely is we right click on it and delete this frame. Click on that and it deletes that frame. Now that we know how to enter scores and how to correct a mistake, just enter scores until you get to the end of the game. In our next video, we will be showing you how to keep score at the World Tournament and using Horseshoe Scorekeeper. Thanks for watching this video, and we hope we have showed you how easy it is to keep score using Horseshoe Scorekeeper. Have a good day, and remember, the Horseshoe Master How-To Software Team is always here to help.